Welcome, in front of me I have the brand new iPhone 17 and today I'll be showing you how you can import music to your device so you can have a physically stored library on your phone that isn't dependent on network connections and subscriptions. Now I'll be using Windows for this but you can also do this on a Mac, it doesn't really matter too much I should say. Now on Windows we will need to download two different programs and on Mac just open up your finder and that's about it. Now in finder you'll find ironically your iPhone you want to click on it and uh, that's about it. So just to showcase this in a finder it will basically be very similar to what we have right here. So you will have your iPhone, it's going to show you the name of your iPhone and when you click on it you will have all of this info right here. That's really what you're looking for. Now as you just seen uh, I am using Apple devices and I am on Windows. So on Windows we need to navigate to our most favorite store which is the Microsoft Store. Everyone loves this one. I personally do oh, love so much downloading applications instead of from a web browser like a normal human. Uh, I need to now be forced into this garbage. Awesome. And uh, in here you can search for either iTunes. This will give you both of the programs as a result that we need. Now also you probably uh, might have experience using iTunes before and that no longer works. Uh, Apple, I guess, updated the iTunes by just completely making it redundant. And then they changed nothing, added a new coat of paint onto it by, by making it gray, as you can see, like great coat of paint. Um, and then separated into two different applications that still function the same as iTunes used to function. They're just separate now. Awesome, awesome improvement. It justifies the uh, lower review scores than even iTunes had and those were already piss poor reviews so congrats Apple you've literally now now just broken your own shittiest score awesome uh, so you're the reigning king of shit now once you get Apple devices and you also get Apple we can now deal with our music so the way this works is Apple devices allows your computer to interface with the phone itself and then transfer over the data that is in uh, Apple Music. So basically you have music in Apple, it takes that music from here through Apple devices to your device. Great design. Instead of being able to just plug it in to your computer like it is right now and opening up something like your browser and uh, having it right here like every normal device does uh, you get empty space thanks Apple that's very helpful so once you download both of these pieces of shit uh, you can actually use them now to get what you want to so let's open up first our Apple music uh, so I'm gonna go quickly over relatively quickly over how to manage your music and obviously what to do if you haven't done this as nowadays a lot of people don't keep actual physical media anywhere you might not be aware on how to really manage this so there's several different things uh, if we go into our browser now this I will be pointing this out for Windows specifically on Mac I believe you also have music folder and stuff like that which would make it easy uh, but it's completely up to you where you want to store music and where you want iTunes to pull that music from. Uh, so in this case I will be opening up my music folder, Apple Music and then Media and here you can see all my songs. So these are all the ones that are right here. Now you can probably see a discrepancy. There is three songs while in the folder there are four. Now by default iTunes should be pulling them from here. Uh, where is it? Trying to figure it out. Uh, where was the button for uh, for the settings? Oh, whatever. So, uh, in any case, 
The reason why it's only showing up three out of four is because I believe it's this one. Yep. If we go into properties, this is a fuck fuck flag format. Sorry for that. Um, so flag format isn't supported by a media player, a music player that doesn't support music format. Great, great update there, I, Apple. You really done it here. So because of that, no matter how many times I try to add this, it won't ever appear because it just doesn't support it and it doesn't show it because of it. So anyway, once you store your music or once you download your music, uh, have it somewhere stored on your computer, you can then drag it over to here. And when you do that, it will show up. Now, the way I have my uh, my music downloaded, actually before I even go, the music that I have right here, I actually own a physical media of it as a vinyl. So I, I feel okay kind of showing this semi. So when you download it, depending on where you download it for, from, for instance, when you download it from here, it downloads metadata. Now metadata will be very important because if we go into one of the tracks, right click on it and go into properties, that meant that metadata is all filled in here. So we have album name, title, uh, artist, album artist, and all that stuff, right? Along with even artwork. So we have it right here. Now this is very nice because on your phone, it will show up uh, under artists and specific like other things. If you, for instance, download, convert things like YouTube music into MP3s, which I'm pretty sure most of us have done at one point, those files do not have metadata. The, the, every info about it, the artist the, and the song and all that stuff is in a title of a file. And when you drop it in here, the title of a file will be just the, basically the name of the song but it won't know what the artist so it's going to assign it to unknown artist and all that stuff so you want to basically find that track right click on it and then manually fill out all these information as you can fill it up and you can also add the artwork yourself as well now with that out of the way you have your music prepared so now we can just close this amazing design there and we're going to move to our apple devices you want to click on your device Okay, I guess it just closed for no reason. Maybe it's, it got sick of me crapping on it all over. Uh, so let's see. Oh, there we go. So in here, once you have the drop down menu visible, you want to go to music. Check the box right here. Sync music onto whatever iPhone. And you have two different ways of going about it. You have the entire music library, but depending on how much music you actually have and what the uh, storage of your phone is, this might not be possible to you. And the second option is to sync specific artist albums and genre song with playlists. I also want to add that whenever you pick one of those and select your media, it should by default show a supposed space that it's going to take on your iPhone. So this is your iPhone storage, uh, how much space you have right now. So this is how much it's taken. This is how much it's available. If, for instance, you have an entire library and it's exceeding like 256 gigs of storage, which is, I believe, what this phone has, uh, it would basically fill it all the way with, I don't remember what color, uh, but basically it wouldn't be able to sync at all, obviously. So uh, one thing that I like to do is select the specific artist albums and genres and all that stuff, and then choose them in here, what I want to sync. Uh, this will mean that if I select specific artists as an example, like the Sleep Token, amazing band, um, and I add more tracks from different albums even of theirs, in here and I plug in my phone later on into the future, it's going to sync this missing tracks back to the device without me needing to do anything. Same thing goes technically for the entire library, but again, uh, that will be very limiting if your iPhone doesn't have enough space on it to store all that music. So I'm gonna stick with this one. Uh, we're gonna now click on apply, but before I do, you can see right here, there is nothing here. So let's click apply. This is gonna sing the single artist.
and there we go. And you can see because uh, we have all the metadata for our tracks, it automatically just gives us artwork, well, uh, apart from the last one for some reason. Uh, no, why don't you have artwork for that one exactly? Uh, Apple devices, I would say, because the track itself, um, let's see, I'm, I'm pretty sure it does have metadata, specifically artwork for it. So let's just check it. So it's this one, properties, right here. Oh, would you look at that? There's artwork. So for some reason, uh, Apple devices decided not to sync it. Um, great. But anyway, you can see. So there we go. Uh, here's our info. It even synced things like the lyrics here. So that's pretty nice. And right now you can listen to this music that you have uplo uploaded here. No matter where you are, no matter if you have an internet connection or if you pay for any garbage subscription, you can always listen to it. It is your media stored physically. And even if, for instance, uh, Apple stops uh, selling some of the music or uh, loses the license to some music, that music won't evaporate from your library. It's your music. They don't have control over that. So that music will just permanently stay here and your on your computer and on your phone as long as you don't delete it yourself. So obviously super great. The fact that you don't need to have subscriptions also just saves you money. So highly recommend checking that out if you haven't ever done this. It's much better to have your own music stored locally that corporations don't have control over and just don't delete from your account because their license ended, which has been very prevalent nowadays. So anyway, hope you found this very helpful. And if you did, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Thank you.